Do I not have any Christmas t-shirts? That's a bit ridiculous. Seriously? to have one of the kids video a full image or something like that so what have you seen so far let me let me think about the day and what has happened okay so um, I brought donuts for my team and I gave some donuts to some of the other um, first grade teachers that I love um, and then we did math for math today um, we worked on making 10 so they used 10 frames and they worked on making groups of 10 um, it was a part of the same math unit that I used yesterday so I can show you that real quick so their lesson for today was making 10 like I said so they have these little math talk cards and they played a game where they had to say I have blank so for this one they would say I have seven I need three more to make ten then they completed this student um, activity part and then you saw my kids doing math choices which I want to show you so recently and by recently I mean last week I, I added math choices because I really want to try to um, start doing guided math um, in my classroom just because I noticed some issues just with number sense and I really want to be able to work one-on-one -on -one with my kids with that just to make sure that they really have a solid understanding of numbers 1 through 20 so I already have these resources some of them I'll be able to link where I got them some of them were given to me so if I don't link where I got them it's because they were gifts to me okay so first things first this is all of my math stuff as you can see some things are 
labeled. Some things are not. Um, the things that are not labeled are new manipulatives that I've gotten this year before, after the beginning of the year, so they're not labeled. But this is all of my math manipulatives, and then these are my math choices. So basically, the students choose from these drawers, and they have different choices of things that they can do. So the way that that looks is that student application piece that I showed you before where they had to show that they make 10 is their have to do. Then when they're done, they're able to make choices. So they come over here and they can choose a game. A lot of the times the games are games that are from that guiding um, math unit from Deanna Jump. So this one was where they had to spin the spinner using the paper clips and they used the tens frames and they had to show that number on their tens frame and show how many off. These games are games that I'm introducing to them one by one. They come from everyday math, um, which is our old math curriculum. And I just have them and I really like some of these games. So I've just been using them and my kids are really enjoying them. So I found a way to start implementing them by teaching them a new game every week. So at this point, they've learned two new games. They learned a game last week and they learned a game this week. So they have the choice to play this game. Then they have the different things in these drawers. So I'm just gonna show you really quick. These are like dry erase, like dot to dot numbers. And then these are like number dry erase things. Um, I can look and see. It looks like these are from Lakeshore. These were a gift to me, but these are from Lakeshore. If they still have them, I do not know, but that is where those are from. These are just, and look how awful they're doing at erasing these. We're going to go through and Clorox wipe all of these, but basically these are just, they count and they write, they color how many. These were also gifted to me, um, so they were already pre-made. There's something that I had, just stuck them in there, and there you go. These, I really, really love these. These are um, different folder games. And so, for example, this one you saw my kids playing. It was sorting colors. Um, there's number one. There's classifying. There's all different types of folder games, patterns, wrapping. So the kids really enjoy doing these. This one is just like a shape game. This is something that my mom gave to me a while ago. Um... It does not say where it's from, sorry. I don't know where this is from, but just like a different shape game. This one is um, where they make the patterns with the teddy bears. And it looks like this says Learning Resources Incorporated. My mom got this for me from a garage sale. This one is where they um, can make the numbers using snap cubes or create patterns using snap cubes. I've had these since my first year of teaching. I think I found them as like a free resource on Pinterest or something like that. It doesn't have the name of the seller, so I'm sorry, but I'm sure if you just look these up, you'll find them really easily on Pinterest. Same different type of concept, just with pattern blocks. Um, let's see. This is for more creative learning ideas, check out. Oh, I cannot read that. Uh, if you can decipher that, there it is. Sorry. Um, then these are fun little Play-Doh mats. And these are from The Principal Princess 2013. And I believe these were free. And then these are little math puzzles. So they have the pieces that show all different versions of that number. And these are from thrustreadinggamma.com, gmama.com, thisreadinggramma.com. I'm believing that that's what that is. And then finally, more Play-Doh mats. In addition to doing that for math choices, they can go on ABC Yeah and do math. That's our that's the only resource that I have for online math games on the um, desktops. And then they can also do iPads, which just has various um, different math games on there. So um, my thought is, is that once the kids get really familiar with choosing the choices, I will try to pull two groups a day. So I will try to have a total of four groups, which during guided reading, I have five, but I'm going to try to have four groups and I'm going to try to pull two groups each day. So I'll see each group twice a week for math help. Um, and so that is my goal and I plan to try to start that in January. In addition to math, you saw my students complete a um, reindeer craft. We read the book All of the Other Reindeer and they completed a craft and a writing activity that said, um, Dear Santa, I would make a good reindeer because, and this is what it looked like. Ignore my filthy board. So they did this and it went along with this book. 
So yeah, that's that. I am about to head to lunch. When we get back, we're going to finish this craft. The students did not finish it. We're going to do centers. Um, and then we are probably going to try to watch the YouTube video. Well, it's not a YouTube video, but there is a movie of all of the other reindeer that's about 30 minutes long. So if we have time today, um, instead of free choice, we'll watch that since it goes along with our book. And so that's that. And also, before I head to lunch, if you're worried about Charlotte, my mom just texted me. She went there with her this morning. She appears to be doing okay. She ate a little bit. She did not throw it up. So we're just hoping that she holds that down and makes it through the rest of the day and that she never gets in the garbage again because that was horrific. <laughs> today I'm about to head home I need to go and make sure that I check on Charlotte um, my mom was with her for most of the day so I'm pretty sure she's okay but I just want to make sure to check on her I'm starving to death so I need to get a snack before I leave but I'm gonna go home and I'll chit chat with you guys later Charlotte appears to be doing so much better. Do you feel better, Shar Shar? Say yes. Yes, I do. Um, she just ate, so no throw up since 8.30 last night, so fingers crossed. Um, my video did not upload last night. I set it to upload, and I woke up this morning, and I said that it was only at 35%. I have no idea what happened, so I'm about to, and then I didn't, I don't know what, I, I packed my computer up, I forgot about it. Well, I also didn't want to upload while I was at work. So I'm going to upload that now so that my vlog for Tuesday, which is today, but was from Monday. This gets really confusing. Basically, I have to make sure that my video is uploaded. And then uh, I'm kind of just going to chill and relax. I'm really tired. I was up super late last night, super worried about Charlotte. I have so much cleaning and so many other things to do. But I'm just going to relax from now. And then, I don't know, we'll see if anything else fun happens for the day. All right, you guys, that is a wrap for today. I did end up going out um, with my boyfriend and having a nice date night karaoke fun with friends, but that footage got deleted, so that's it for today. To see the rest of my videos, make sure you subscribe, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Love you guys. Bye.